You don't even know the Ultima code of dueling, do you? Learn the rules and challenge me properly. Then I'll teach you some manners. That gutless high elf Lirindel thinks he can call me a pig-faced brute and walk away? I'm gonna knock that loose tongue right out of the back of his head. Just watch me. By Moloch, these Eleanor pigs really twist my tusks. Because I'm not an idiot. Guards see an orc thumping the ears off an elf in the middle of the street. You know how that turns out. Thought if I challenged him to a duel, we could make it legal. But he won't fight unless I challenge him properly. Oh, how in oblivion would I know? These elves have rules for everything. How to eat, how to sleep. Of course they've got rules about how to beat each other up. Say, you wouldn't be interested in helping me figure this out, would you? I appreciate the help. Trust me, this is a noble cause. First things first. You'll need to track Lirendelt down and find out how to get this nonsense started. I'd ask him myself, but the urge to punch him might be too much for me. Ah, you know how it is. Orc in a town full of stuck-up Altmer. Same old story. I was in the tavern, washing down a lamb shank with a bottle of wine, minding my own business. Then along comes this beanpole telling me I've got to leave. Why do you think? This island's full of orc haters. Only thing they hate worse than orcs walking the streets is orcs drinking their wine. Lirendel told me I was stinking up the place, so I told him to yank the stick out of his arse and shove off. He laid into me with everything he had. Tongue lashing me about my tusks, my clothes, my beard. And that's the one that really got my dander up. I put a lot of work into this beard. He ended the whole thing with... Pig face. Pig face! Damn right! I've been on the receiving end of that one too many times. So now he's going to learn a lesson. Are you kidding me? I could clobber that arse face blindfolded. I'm not one for boast, but since you asked, I'm a five-time blood brawling champion. In the Rothgar League, mind you. Used to call me Rogazog the Face Demolisher. Yeah, because I, you know, demolish faces. Doesn't really roll off the tongue, does it? I always wanted a really sharp moniker, like the Hatchet or Fist of Malakath or you know, something like that. Oh well. Anyway, yeah, that elf's in big trouble. I've been asking myself the same thing ever since I stepped off the boat. Thought maybe I'd have a look around, take in the sights. My Aunt Lazbesh used to tell me stories about this place, see? Tales about glass trees and crystal towers and magic ale. Yeah, it's supposed to put your arse over flagging with a single sip. No self-respecting orc would pass up a challenge like that. Unfortunately, I haven't found any magic drinks. Just fancy wine and prissy elves. I don't know why I listened to my aunt. When I was a pup, she got her head stuck in a bucket. Couldn't get it off for a night and a day. So, yeah, Smart Gold says she was making it up. Then again, I'm here on her advice, so... <laughs> who's a real idiot? Barely met, never are. To what do I owe this profound pleasure? Oh, for Stendar's sake, that business. I won't apologize for speaking the truth. That orc is an uncivilized, gloveless buffoon. I'd sooner duel a frog or a tea kettle. But if he insists on facing me, he'll need to learn our dueling customs. I suggest he read our guide to Altmeri culture. He can read, can't he? There's a copy just there on the table. 
If he meets the preconditions and notifies my second, Fandalol, I promise to duel that filthy Glanon at the determined place and time. Back so soon? He blew you off, didn't he? You know what I wouldn't give to knock that smug grin off his face. Let me see. Hmm. Looks like I need a second. An Altmer dueling foil and Lirendel's full name to recite before the duel. Wanna be my second? It'll be worth your time, trust me. I'm going to lay that elf out like a cheap rug. What do you say? You can pick up an elven dueling foil in town. As for Lirendel's name, he wouldn't shut up about it. Started with Rumalon, I think. It should be chiseled somewhere in the runes of Torhimkard. Arrange the duel with Fandalol and we'll be all set. I'm going to find a good spot near the runes just west of here for our duel. It's the guards, see? Duels are acceptable between high elves, but when an orc's involved, might make them grumpy enough to step in and stop it. And we can't let that happen. Greetings, Walker. How good it is to see a fellow newcomer. This one grows tired of serving these dungy high elves. Unclawed dandies make my tail bristle. But my words wander. What can Nadoni do for you? Dueling sword? Yes, a fine selection. This one has just the thing. A needle-sharp blade wrought from the finest glass. I took it from the lord of this house. Do not judge, he pays me. Nothing fair is fair, yes? It can be yours for the right price. You drive a hard bargain, Walker. But this one is feeling charitable today. Take this blade with Nadani's compliments and good luck with your duel. Fairly met, newcomer. Wait. You're the one who was harassing Lirendel earlier. Hm. I presume you've come to talk about this business with the Orc. The ruins, eh? A good enough place as any to put that witless oaf in his place. You do know that Lirendel has fought and won some 80 duels, don't you? No matter. 
Mirandale grudgingly accepts this challenge. We shall meet you near the ruins. There's my favorite second. Feels like I've been warming these knuckles up for hours. So, what's the story? That scrawny prig accept my challenge? Just look at this sword. I couldn't kill a squirrel with this thing. And this is a name? Looks like somebody's grocery list. Ah, it doesn't matter. I'll improvise. I formally present Lirandel, cherished son of the Nevularel, to accept the Orc, Rogazog's challenge. So, ready to watch Lirandel skewer your friend? Hmm, skewer may be too harsh a word. We're only fighting to first blood, of course. But then again, accidents do happen. And to whom do you issue this challenge? I'm afraid you'll have to be more specific. Go on. Go on. Ah, there we are. Was that really so hard? Lirandel accepts Rogazog's challenge and stands ready to fight. I trust your thick-headed friend is duly prepared. Let's get this over with, shall we? Yeah, let's do that. Come here, fancy pants. That felt good. You know, I never punched a high elf before. Felt like punching a pillowcase full of pudding. Almost feel bad for the little run. Almost. <laughs> yeah, normally I'd put on a show, but this was personal. Honestly, I took it easy on him. If I'd really poured it on, he'd be breathing through his ear hole. Anyway, thanks for all the help. You ever need somebody knocked out, you let me know, eh? <laughs> 